Hey, honey fish. It's the 30th of July, 2018. And it's late, so probably going to be quick. But I can't help it because, I mean, I just want to look at the news. And I see these two articles that just lead me right back to that library where those lines all intersected there on the last video that I did there. In I see this one here, unpublished chapter of Malcolm X autobiography acquired by New York Library, and it was acquired by the New York Public Library, and I'm not going to go into Malcolm or anything, but the library, I mean, this is just weird, and another one I saw was about this 23andMe, and how they sold out their customers, I mean, this is a data breach if there's anything. But nonetheless, it, the reason I saw that was because in the headline I saw it says 23andMe shares its DNA library. That's why I clicked on it. And then, of course, it's about the DNA, which is so everything about this world. But nonetheless, I see those things that lead me back to the library, okay? Now... There was a video, or an article rather, that I saw, or should I say was shown to me uh, a year ago, a year and a month or so ago, June 4th, 2017. I saw this article the day it came out, and I knew immediately, it was shown to me immediately. Um, I, I dubbed this the Demon Tunnel, uh, because it's full of demons, and this tunnel is right underneath the New York Public Library and that's an absolute fact I mean I did all this last year so I already have this stuff but the subway just part of the subway that they're working on is literally right here which is right beneath the library I know it's kinda hard to tell but that's that's exactly where it is so at the time last year I mean I knew that but I didn't really it wasn't given to me to know really what it meant but you know you you need to see this image though this is absolutely crazy okay this is not touched at all I don't draw any lines or anything on this but you can see that they're constructing this tunnel this is an actual site but you know they just poured these walls not too long ago because this side is completely clean it's curing over there and then all of a sudden it's all of this gurbly gook. And there's nothing but demons and death on this wall. Seriously. I mean, all the way down here, you got this demon creature flying at you, essentially, with this little demon garb, you know, the little spirit garb flying out around it. I mean, that's what that is. And this guy right next to him, I mean, look at the mug on this guy. He looks extremely friendly, right? The guy above him takes the cake to me. I mean, look at this. Like, yeah, these are just stains on a brand new concrete wall. That Look at that demon. I mean, that... Come on, you guys. That's just downright evil. See this guy back behind him there? There's his eye. It's like the side of his face down there. And that hole just kind of obscures things. But there's his mouth right there. It's crazy, but... This part right here was crazy, 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 because it's orange, and to me, it just depicts an explosion, and this is a wave right here. That's what that looks like to me. And these two things right here are placed there, just like the spirit that placed this whole image in here did, you know? That's what did this. This is a spirit at work in the subway beneath the New York Public Library. But these two things here represent like the, the gateway, the columns, the, the, the channel, okay? And, and it reminded me immediately of a video I just did like two or three weeks ago based on this article about how they want to build this giant barrier in New York Harbor to protect them from storm surge, okay? This is just crazy. And, and I'll, I'll link the uh, video I did. It was this one. A lot of you saw this, uh, but some of you may not have. But this is crazy. And it shows uh, part of this image that I show you um, is 
looks exactly like these little channels right here that are right below this nuclear explosion in the wave that you know in my spirit say that's just depicting the wave coming in here into the harbor and now they want to build these surge walls and now the surge part is crazy too because in this movie um the day after tomorrow okay this is about a storm surge that's what pours into the harbor is a surge it's not really a tsunami and so this wave is more characteristic about what i think would really happen as opposed to the other movies where where the wave is literally like knocking buildings down and stuff i think this one is way more realistic and where do they go to run away from the wave they go into the new york public library of all places they could go there it is there's the three arches right there and I'm going to show you that in a second. But that's where they end up going to for refuge. And they have to burn all the books to stay warm. It, they destroy the knowledge, you understand? Which is not even real knowledge, essentially. Because this library, all right, that's, that's how that is in there. But it's also in Ghostbusters. The very, very first scene of Ghostbusters is the... New York Public Library. This is the opening scene. With, it's got the Pantheon. You have to see the whole building to get the whole picture. But it's a total Roman temple. Literally. And of course, you know, that, that stems from all the old gods that came through the ages right back to Egypt. That's who Rome is now, is, the, is Egypt. That's what they represent. And look at the entrance to this library, the, the, the arches. Three giant arches with the pillars lining each arch. 369, the gateways. The, it's unbelievable, you guys. And the very next thing they pan to is this lion, of course. And there's a pair of those. Which really, you can look into that. It's pretty interesting stuff. But at the first scene in Ghostbusters. And what, what ends up happening in Ghostbusters? The lady goes down in the cellar, okay, beneath the library, and all the little, uh, what do you call it there, the little Dewey Decimal cards start flying out. So they have to call Ghostbusters to save the day, to come capture the demons that are under the, the library, right? And this tunnel is literally right under the library, okay? And later on, in Ghostbusters um, 2, the same thing happens, more or less, except this time, they got, they're got they trying to figure out a way to defeat the, the evil, because that's what it is, right? So they lower, they're lowering this guy down into this pit. It's a literal pit. And what does he see? The old subway system. I mean, this is crazy, you guys. He sees the old subway system. The subways. Unbelievable. And then as he's going down there, you see the river that's the manifestation of the spirit of Satan and every demon ever, right? And it's flowing in this old subway. <laughs> and these are like, these are arches. You see how they, they cut it off like that? It makes it an arch. These are arches. Unbelievable stuff. And he's like under the library. How do you make this stuff up? But they put it in an article in the Washington Times for the whole world to see. You understand how they do their thing? Back on June 4th, 2017. You know? And I just have to show you guys this stuff. This is crazy. And, and I guess one more thing. I think I might have covered it. I didn't cover it all because in that movie, like I said, you know, in the uh, the day after... They burn the books. They burn the knowledge, essentially. Well, remember I showed you yesterday that there was a, a, the line between the obelisks in New York run right across the library and all that stuff? Well, that the, the uh, what do you call it? The obelisk at the one end over here in Central Park? Cleopatra's Needle? Well, you know where that came from? 
that came literally from the library. <laughs> I'm not kidding. From the library of Alexandria. That's where that obelisk came to the United States from. And Alexandria was Roman Egypt. And it was burned. And what did they do? They burned the books in here. In the library. You see what I'm saying? This is just crazy. But yeah, the library of Alexander. That's where the obelisk came from. And it just goes deeper and deeper, you guys. It really does. The, the actual um, library itself, you could get into the stuff like that. You, you know how I showed you um, on the Washington Arch, how it was 77 feet tall, 23 meters high? Well, it's kind of weird how the library would really design so much of their their own building the same way. Because they built it almost exactly the same. Look at this. It's the main hall that we see in the opening scene of Ghostbusters. That's their main hall with their heaven murals in the ceiling okay in the roman egyptian temple and it's 77 feet 23 meters wide and all these other crazy numbers and all these other crazy things and people and symbols everywhere but yeah that is real this is all real that that's what this whole movie here was depicting the whole time man this is like the real deal and they're even showing it in articles in the washington times right so i just need people to understand this is a heavy duty spiritual war that concerns your eternal soul and you need to choose a side and the winning side is already the victor and it's jesus christ everything else is a loss and everything else is a lie so seek him first listen to him because he's the way he's the truth and he's the life and that's just the bottom line and oh gosh i almost forgot i gotta show you this this actual image that they used in this article on june 4th of last year the image itself is from november 4th 2015 the contractors working under midtown manhattan this project has been going on for like 10 years. It's 13 years overdue. <laughs> Think about that. This is ongoing today. But November 4th, 2015, and I had to punch it in. It's just like what I do, you know. So I punched that in. November 20, November 4th, I said, right? Yeah, 2015. And I go, let's go to today. Check this out. This is just crazy. 999 days right and if i go to tomorrow because the three and the one the 13 and the 31s have just been really heavy on me these days it's an exact thousand days that's crazy and what is what does the bible say a day is a thousand years a thousand years as a day you know maybe this is the day maybe it's here i know it's close i can tell you that so seek jesus okay Hope this blesses someone. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 